Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are going to be doing every single, the most overrated offensive player on every single NFL team. If this video can do well, I will do the most overrated defensive player or the most underrated offensive player, but today we're going to be the most overrated offensive player on every single team, and again, I appreciate you guys Paying 300 subscribers. We're now at like 307. We are on the road to 400. If you are new and you like the content, subscribe because it really does help me out and I appreciate everyone that does. On the road to 400. I already said that. Let's get into the video. So, the first team we're going to be talking about is the Cardinals. James Conner. I think their whole team's honestly overrated. I'm not going to lie. But James Conner screams my team because I think. I really thought he was good until I realized that all he did two years ago was just get touchdowns, and that's it. He was terrible this year. Yards, he was not great. I know he was injured, but based on like everything, all of his stats decreased. And I think everyone sees the touchdowns and it's like, oh, he's a good player. You got to realize he's not that good of a player. Next up, we have the Falcons, Marcus Mariota. I mean, maybe they don't overrate him, but some people think that, like, because he can run, he's a decent, reliable quarterback. I think he's terrible. I think they should just roll a Desmond Ritter. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I've had it with Marcus Mariota because Marcus Mariota is not good. Next up, we have the Baltimore Ravens. This one is a bit harder. I'm going to say, ooh, this one's kind of hard, actually. I feel like their whole team is, like, actually, like, pretty underrated. If I say, I guess, Rashad Bateman. Because he just gets injured so much. So when people have like that confidence that he's going to do well, then he gets injured, then all that confidence goes down. But they're like, oh yeah, always oh, next year. And they don't realize that he's going to get injured again. So I would say Rashad Bateman. Next up, we have the Bills. I talked about this already. Gabe Davis. Um, I actually already did the most overrated offensive player on every single team. Or the most overrated player on every single team. But in my opinion, Gabe Davis had the most um, bad year, and I think he's the most overrated player on that team. Next up, we have the Carolina Panthers. This one is a little bit tougher, because I don't think they have anyone that's, like, too, too bad, but Chuba Hubbard comes to mind. He's not good. I mean, they should just roll with Dante Foreman. He's not good. Uh, he picks up, like, two yards per carry, and every once in a while, he'll give you a touchdown. Next up, we have the Chicago Bears, and I'm gonna say... I'm going to say, I this one's another hard one, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say Chase Claypool. I do not like Chase Claypool. I, I just think that he's I just a big wide receiver. But once he went away, away from Pittsburgh, man, he was he was really, really bad this year. I'm not going to lie. Next up, we have the Cincinnati Bengals. This one, again, I have to say Joe Mixon is the only player that like is not underrated at, at this point with the team. But yeah, Joe Mixon... I feel like um, this year was a down year for him. He still got 1,000 yards, but I feel like it's more them just force-feeding him the ball. Because if you look at his yards per carry and the amount of touchdowns, they all went down a lot from last year. So I would say he's the most overrated player. Next up, we have the Cleveland Browns. I'm going to say, I will always think this. But at this point, I'm just going to say it anyways. Deshaun Watson. Bro, he's not that good. He's decent. But I think, I think he was good in Houston, and now he just kind of fell off, and I think he's never really going to get back to that prime area that he was in. Next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm I'm going to keep saying this, it's Zeke. Zeke is decent, but the money that you paid him, the amount you paid him, he is so overrated. Just go to Tony Pollard, get rid of his salary cap, trade him, or just release him, and get him off this team, because he's such a big salary dump on your payroll that you guys barely have any. I mean, you guys actually have a lot of money, but you guys could use so much more money to actually make your team better in areas that you need it. Because you have Tony Pollard. Next up, we have the Broncos. This one is pretty easy. In my opinion, this is going to be Latavius Murray. Latavius had a good end of the year, sure, but he is not a good running back. Let me get you that straight. He had a good end of the year. Because Javante was hurt. Now that Javante's back, he's not going to do anything. And honestly, their team is pretty underrated at this point. Because you can't really say Russell Wilson's un overrated because everyone hates him. So you got to put, um, I'm putting, um, I'm going to put Latavius Murray there. Next up, we have the Lions. Again, this one's kind of tough because I actually like a lot of their players. I'm going to say DeAndre Swift. 
I just think Jamal Williams is a better running back than Jonathan Smith. I know Smith has potential, but he hasn't really showed it to us, and I know that he has a next level to get through, and he hasn't gotten to. But another team where, like, every single player is pretty underrated. Next up, we have the Green Bay Packers. At, at this point, it might be Aaron Rodgers. I think it is Aaron Rodgers. The only reason why I'm saying this is because Aaron Rodgers, everyone knows how good he is. And now, you can see now that since the with the, no wide receivers, they were not that good. and He was not as MVP caliber level. So I'm going to say him. Even though I don't think he's overrated. I just think he's the most overrated player on that team. Texans, I mean, this could be forever. Davis Mills. I had so much confidence for Davis Mills coming into this year after the end of how he played last year. I thought he was going to be amazing, and he just was terrible. I mean, he lost his job and then regained it and then lost it and then regained it almost every single week to awful performance from Davis Mills. I mean, he really just did not look as good as I thought he would. Colts, this one is going to be Matt Ryan, I believe. Um, I think Matt Ryan was going to be serviceable and decent, and he just showed that he was honestly so incredibly bad it kind of was so weird like cause in Atlanta even last year he wasn't terrible he was a serviceable back and with a pretty bad team so you're looking at it and you're going to this year like oh my god it's a better team he should be better and then he ends up just doing terrible it might have been the coaching it might have been his fault but he's the most overrated player next up we have the Jaguars I'm gonna keep this short and simple their team is all underrated but if I had to give someone Christian Kirk, and the only reason why, I think Christian Kirk is a fabulous wide receiver. I think he is underrated, but every single player is underrated there, and also, they paid him a lot of money, even though he's worth that money. So, at the same time, I don't know, I'm, every single player is underrated. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, I would say here, I, I think it's going to be, in my opinion, it is, this one's hard. I think Juju. Juju had a decent year, but at the end of the year, he kind of struggled, and it seems like Marcus Valles, Scantling, and other receivers like that kind of took his place a bit more. So I would say Juju, I think. The Chargers, this one's simple and easy. I think Mike Williams is great, but he just cannot stay healthy. It's got to be Mike Williams. A big wide receiver, but just target him deep. I don't know what you're doing, Brandon Staley. And then when he gets injured before the playoffs, and that's probably the reason why you lost. I'm taking I'm taking um, Mike Williams because he always gets injured. I don't even think it's his fault. He just gets injured a lot. The Rams. I mean, there's a lot of overrated players in the Rams at this point. Um, for off, I think it's Matthew Stafford. I I really do. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I I think it's Matthew Stafford because I think people think he's just amazing because of. I think people just think he's amazing because of him winning the Super Bowl. And I think ever since that, you can't really underrate him. And this year, he was terrible. And I think he's just getting out of his prime a little bit faster. Next up, we have the Raiders. This one is kind of hard because, again, I really like their whole team. But if I had to say Hunter Renfro, I really had confidence with him this year. But he kind of was terrible. I know it's some some part and most injuries, but he did not look that good. Next up, we have the Miami Dolphins. I'm going to say here. Any running back for the Dolphins. Because I swear, every single time a running back comes into the Miami Dolphins facility, they, they do something to them, and then they just get worse. Even Jeff Wilson Jr., he was not that good. I mean, the receivers are great, but they don't. They can never have a good running back. Next up, we have the Vikings. It's not really his fault. He's just getting out of his prime, but it's Adam Thielen. I like Adam Thielen. He's, good. he's a decent wide receiver number two, but... He's overrated because people still think he's wide receiver number one. He's not. He's just out of his prime. He's just getting older, and that's why he's overrated. Next up, we have the Patriots. It's Damian Harris. For me, Damian Harris is the most overrated player because I think Ramondre is just so much better of a back. And I think it's kind of the same with, with Damian Harris and James Conner. They're both like similar just touchdown backs, but don't get a lot of yards per carry. And I think people look at that those statistics and be like, man, that's a good running back. And then you really go in depth and you're like, this is, this guy's not that good. And you watch him and say that this guy is not that good. Next up, we have the New Orleans Saints. I don't really like, I think Michael Thomas is overrated because he just gets injured and then he complains and then he whines and then he gets injured and then he complains and then he whines. It's just a cycle. And he never gets to play on the field and he's overrated. It's also just when he had his amazing year, he is a good wide receiver, but Drew Brees was just forced at feeling him the ball. Next up, we have the Giants. I actually really think that their whole team is super underrated. I really do. If I had to say someone, because they got injured, I would say, I like Sterling Shepard, though, too. Um, This one's actually insanely hard. Like, I have nobody. 
let's say Richie James, because people were thinking that he was actually decent, and he's just not amazing, I don't think. Next up, we have the Jets. I think it, it, it's got to be Zach Wilson. I think people just still think that he has potential. And honestly, any Jets quarterback, it's just when they go there, again, any potential quarterback that goes to the Jets is going to end up being terrible, and their career is going to be done. So if I'm a, if I'm a rookie quarterback going to the Jets, I, I do not want to go to the Jets. I'm just going to say that. Next will be a Philadelphia, another team. It's like, they're in the Super Bowl. How much overrate can you have on them? I guess if I had to say, I would say, uh, for the overratedness on the, on the offense, I guess this year probably is Miles Sanders. Because I really do like him a lot. But there's I, I have a feeling that he's going to struggle again next year because he's always just been an average back. And now somehow he just goes up. If he can keep it up, then he'll he's easily... But right now, so many people are hyping him up that he's kind of overrated at this point. Next up, we have the Steelers. Um, in my opinion, the Steelers one's a little bit tougher. But I'm going to say Najee Harris because he really had a down year this year. I mean, he was running like he had concrete in his shoes, and he was running super, super slow. And again, just like that, he's got touchdowns. But if you look at his actual stats, it's not that good, and he really did not look good in film. Next up, we have the Seattle Seahawks. And I'm going to say Rashad Penny simply because, again, he just keeps getting injured, and he can't stop getting injured. I feel like that's a theme in these in in this video right here that there are most overrated players are that get injured, and then they think that he's going to be good. I mean, I think Rashad Penny's a decent back. I just think he's overrated. Next up, we have my 49ers. Um, in my opinion, who do I think is the most overrated player on the 49ers? Um. I really like our whole team, but I'm also not going to overrate any of them. If I had to say, I guess I would say is Trey Lance because he really has to show me. Because right now, the games that he's been playing, he has not looked good. And for that high of a pick, you kind of have to say he's overrated because so many people think that he's still going to be good. And I, I still believe it, but I have to see it first. And next up with the Tampa Bay Bucks, This one is also a hard one, but Leonard Fournette comes to mind immediately. I think that was more, again, Leonard Fournette was just getting receiving little targets from Tom Brady, little chuck downs. And I think he's a decent back. But I think that there are, I don't think he's an amazing back. And I think some people put him a little bit higher than he deserves. Next up, you have the Titans. I'm going to say Ryan Tannehill. He really disappointed me this year, unfortunately. It wasn't his fault, but I, th- I just think that he just looked a lot more average. And honestly, I'll, like I think it just shows that without a really good wide receiver, he doesn't really do that well. So he's overrated. Next up, we have the last team. I don't know why I said next up. Last team in the video. We have the Washington Commanders. And I'm going to say Antonio Gibson. Because, again, similar to like a um, James Conner, Damian Harris, he just kind of gets touchdowns sometimes. And I think just Brian Robinson's a, simply a better back. And that's the end of my videos. If you guys like this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!